Okay. The motor parts that you have to mention. Now, how to identify them is start off with your top left. This is your power steering fluid. So fluid has to be pumped. Like over there, when you have coolant, you have a water pump, you have a power steering pump. Power steering pump. Now, let me see. Okay, here's the hose. This is the big hose right here. Okay, so all you need to do is just come down and say, here's the hose. Here's the two hoses coming out. You can see them coming up through. You don't know, it's, it's, it's down in the bottom okay. at your power steering pump, and it's gear driven. Then you have your air hose, which I can find the one that is, there's a braided line on this truck and it's really hard to find. Um, but your air compressor, uh, just as long as you know that the air compressor for the motor is down in here also, it's also gear driven. That's bothering me that I don't see that print. Oh, here it is. I, I knew it was here. This line right here is a braided cap line right here. I see it. It came with the silver cap on it. Yeah. That's for the compressor. Okay. You have to mention that. And then you have to tell them all your fluids are all within normal levels and no leaks at the hoses. Oil, all good. And then your last but not least is you would say your linkage for your... Uh, steering which would consist of your steering column your knuckle steering box pitman arm and drag link and the castle nuts you're holding it together with the quarter pins castle nudger castle castle nuts not castle nuts okay. <laughs> yeah think of the royal kings <laughs> and it had to sit there and you can see how the reason they call them that is to see how the top of them yeah. look like a castle. And then yeah. what that does is that allows them to put a pin. There's a hole in there, and that pin goes through it. And, and Cotter pin. Cotter pin, yeah. Okay. And that's your complete steering linkage and everything, so you're good. Okay. Then you have to do your, like you said, I'm telling you, try to do it. If you can't do it the way I do it, I know it sounds corny, but everybody that does it never fails. Is this... Uh, your frame to your leaf spring hanger, leaf spring hanger to your leaf spring, leaf spring to the U-bolt, U-bolt to the shock, shock to the air hose, air hose to the brake chamber, brake chamber to the push rod slack adjuster s cam. Okay, you have your inner hub seal, you have your brake lining, your brake lining has to be a quarter inch minimum to your drum, your drum to your wheel, your inner wheel, no uh, illegal welds to your outside tires with your ICDs. Tread 430 seconds on front, 230 seconds on all back. Cannot be recaps on the front. You have the outside of your wheel, ICDs, and, um, imperfection, cracks, and defects. You have your wheel, no welds, uh, no cracks, beads in good shape, lug nuts are checked, outside hub seal, um, valve stem pressure gauge, checking tire pressure with pressure gauge to make sure that it's between the range of 1 to 110. That's it. Then you start down the side. Which I'm... Rear brackets, all in good condition. You say your marker lights, what are these? They're a right turn signal, a left turn signal. On the other side, I'm saying them both. Right turn signal, left turn signal. These are hazard lights and they're marker lights. Okay. They all have to be set. You just can't say that's a light. It won't get points for it because it's more than a light. Okay, it has more than one function. Steps, secured. Battery underneath, secured. Good. You have fluid here. So when you say fluid, you want to look at the cap, make sure it's secured, no leaks or damage. Uh, cap here, diesel, cap secured, properly secured tank, no leaks, no damage. There. You said there's fuel here. What fluid? Is this is death fluid. That's, uh, 
diesel admission fluid that keeps burning and clean so you don't have admissions. Okay, top, you have your air dam up here. You could call whatever you want. You just said top of the truck is secured properly. Also has this is DOT See, uh, reflective tape. It has to be 50% if it's on the truck intact. You have your accessory bar going across. This is used right now to support the airlines. Uh, they're in good shape. You have your, these lights are working lights. There's a switch inside. At night that turns on so you can watch to make sure you can see while you're connecting your hoses. You have all your glad hand connections. All your hoses are not frayed in good working condition. Down to the frame, you have an exhaust and you have your, um, Oh, help me guys, not the axle, the uh, drive shaft. All in good working condition. Then you'd come back here and you would say, okay, Dave, now I'm going to tell you about the rest of my truck. I'm going to go ahead and do my frame to my leaf spring hangers, leaf spring hangers to my leaf spring, leaf spring to the U-bolt, U-bolt to my shocks too. I have air and convention. I also have a torque arm, a torsion arm, okay? I then would go to my hose, from my brake hose, to my canister, canister to my push rod, slack adjuster, as can, mm -hmm. to my uh, lining, brake lining, which would be a quarter inch thick minimum, to my lining, it's gonna spread open to my uh, drums, drums are in good shape, inner wheel hub's good, tires are good on the outside, inside, Top out uh, is two thirty seconds minimum. I have butt spacing and checking the spacing to make sure there's no debris or rocks or anything in between each one. To the outside tires, <coughs> same thing on uh, tread ICDs. To my rims, outside hu uh, hub, lug nuts, and valve stem. Tires are checked for tire pressure with the gauge. Has to be set, or you get no points at all for the tires. Okay. Okay, to my uh, mud, flaps. mud flaps. Mud flaps are in good working condition. They're not broken. They're, they're at the right height. I have DOT reflective tape on them, checking to make sure that that's 50% or better. To my lights, I have backing lights, tail lights, running lights, turn signals right and left, and hazards, all in good working condition. As with every light that's on this truck, when you say the lights, you want to say also one thing else to get points. Reflective, they're reflectors. These these will all at nighttime, if you're parked and the lights aren't on, should act as a reflector. Somebody comes driving up to the side, they should reflect a high beam or low beam enough to identify them. So they are reflectors in addition to being lights. So they have to be set for each light to make it a point. Okay, then I would get done with, since I'm done with my tractor, go into my fifth one. Okay, I'm starting down at the mount. The mount is bolted on with mounting bolts to my platform of the fifth wheel. That's the pyramid looking thing. This is the platform right here. That is also the fifth wheel slide. Fifth wheel slide has pins that lock into place using this hydraulic, electric, or air hose, depending upon each vehicle could be one of other. It doesn't have to be all one, it could be any of the three. Ours is air. I have my safety latch and release arm here. I have my fifth wheel plate that's here. Fifth wheel plate is hooked onto the kingpin, which is connected to the apron and it's completely surrounded and locked in by the locking joints. And that's your mounting system. To the front of my trailer, ball, could be a bulkhead or a header board, depending upon whether it's a flatbed or it's a truck, which this is a trailer. You have your corner highlights, making sure that they're not damaged in good working condition. I have the front of my rivets are all good. Trailer with its Registration is in here. I have up-to-date stickers, Pennsylvania, and the federal government inspection. 
flat head connections are all in good shape. Uh, coming down to the bottom and just checking my apron again. The same on this side over here. Coming down, all my channels seem to be in good shape. So I'm not uh, assuming that my the uh, uh, roof would be buckled. So it wouldn't be leaking. All down the side seems to be in good working condition. All the river trim plates, DOT tape went all the way down to good. To my underneath, I have underneath cross members, part of the frames. Checking to make sure that they're good. I'm going to check my landing gear, making sure that there's no welds, no cracks, no breaks, that it can uh, be used properly. I have this light here, which is a turn signal only. It's not a running light. Come, come on back. I have this light. This light is a left turn signal, right turn signal, hazard and running light. I have my hoses. They're properly um, supported by the springs. They are at least 18 inches off the ground, which they have to be. I have, a, a, this is my tandem slide. This is where the holes are. This is the tandem slide release. It is properly in place so that it's how I know that it is working properly. I have the pins. Here's your locking pins here and a locking pin here. They are properly um, pulled out so they're in good shape. I'm gonna come to the suspension. I have my frame to my leaf spring hanger, leaf spring hanger to my leaf spring, leaf spring to my um, shock, which is air and conventional, along with the torsion arm, um, uh, torque arm to my air, uh, brake hose, to the brake hose, to the canister, canister to the push rod slide adjuster S cam, throughout the whole thing with the tires and the rims, the butt spacing. You won't have to check the valve stem with this. This is self inflation, um, so it's good. This axle, the same as that axle. I have my mud flaps, no DOT tape on these. So I'm checking to make sure they're properly installed. All my brackets are bolted, nothing loose. And I have a door tie down here, which you do want to say they are important that they have them. Um, in this truck, you don't have to say it, but um, on his paperwork, he has a spot where there could be a door on right or left side. You'd want to say that that door was secured properly if you had that. We don't, so we're good. My ABS lights uh, properly installed, proper color. I have a marker light back here, it's proper color. I do think it flashes turn signals, but I'm gonna have to check. We would have it on while we was doing this. Okay, it starts to pop, all my clearance lights are all good. My locking mechanism for my doors, properly installed. I can see that it's latched properly all the way down through. I have DOT tape. I'm looking at my hinges on both sides of my doors. They're all in good shape. Handles good. Um, I want to come down to my lights. These are backup lights, turn signals, uh, uh, right and left turn signal, hazard lights, and running lights. Um, and all in good shape, along with my uh, license plate. License plate light works. Um, I don't have to, these lights do work but we don't use them. Uh, these are your extra glad hands for pulling, the, pulling this double with my DOT bumper and with, uh, DOT tape, all 50%. Um, that should be the end of it. Um, and along with my tie downs, I would just say to Dave that I would do the, this side of the truck, the same as I did that side, and hit so okay. What's the tie downs? Right here, these, what they do, these lines. Oh, they, okay. On the, that, that thing over there to keep it in locked so the door stays open so when you're backing it up to like one of those docks you're not going to close it halfway whenever it's going down although we don't have the latch on it What's that? This is supposed to be the latch for this side, but it's rusty. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 and there's none here. Yeah. And 
that's pretty much it. And then we do the inside and the brakes.